are swapping their rides for a new Ford Focus because Focus gets an EPA estimated 35 miles per gallon and has quality that can't be beat by Honda or Toyota. Swap your ride and get 0% financing on a Ford Focus plus a two-year no-charge maintenance plan. On this 190 North, we will travel to a couple of food truck stops, drink it raw, save cheese, and stretch your cocktail dollar. We'll also taste what's wild in West Town and tame the tots with a little food fun. 190 North is now. Once again, we have rounded up a few places to tempt your palate. If you Twitter when you're hungry, you probably have already tracked out a favorite food truck. If not, then here are a few items on the mobile feast menu. Doug Banks has the story. Even though many food trucks roam the streets of Chicago, only at 5411 can you receive this. Argentinian treat. The empanadas are prepared and baked daily at Kitchen Chicago and delivered hot out of the oven. They're very Italian. We do them the Argentinian style, uh, so we bake them instead of deep fry them. You can follow the 5411 empanada truck on Twitter and Facebook, and they're usually in the loop for lunch. It's quick, it's fast, it's pretty affordable, and it's an alternative to something you can't get every day. And all the flavors and the uh, recipes and the dough and all the ingredients are very, very much the way we do it in Argentina. If there's a line, they're worth the wait. So we thought we would give it a try. Um, we were actually just gonna buy one empanada and instead we got three. That's fantastic, I just tried the barbecue chicken. Well, we have six different kinds of empanadas in our truck. The beef empanada is usually the most uh, traditional one, it's the, the favorite. Um, but then ham and cheese, I would say, well, that's my personal favorite. At $2 a piece, you'll want to try more than just one. But hurry, because they do run out of the most popular empanadas. The Tamale Spaceship Charles also lands in the loop at lunchtime. I've heard about this truck and a lot of other trucks in the area. Looking forward to seeing a little bit more excitement in the Chicago scene. I've had them once before. A, a colleague of mine uh, ordered them for the office, and uh, they're just really authentic and delicious. Like most trucks, you can follow their blogs, Twitter, or Facebook to find them. I write my own food blog, and uh, I try and find some of the best places to uh, to consume pork throughout the city. And uh, so the, the pork tamales here are really delicious. My favorite uh, it will be the cochinita pibil tamal, uh, which is Yucatecan style uh, roasted pork. Uh, it has achote, and then it's a uh, top up with a tomato habanero sauce for some more spices. Line up early, because they come two to an order, but you can pick from six different tamales. The standard name is tamale. Uh, we, use, we decided to use tamale uh, because it comes from the Nahuatl language, and what it means, it means wrapped food. In any language, these are no ordinary tamales. Manny and his crew are serving up gourmet tamales on their spaceship. You're getting a traditional tamale, just in general, but we do a, a little twist in our own, but as far as the salsas and moles, they completely original. The tamales are prepared daily. In a word, these fresh steamed Mexican delights are... Delicioso. 